Help you are welcome back again to the class room. The jump online mathematics. Now we have two questions involved. Okay, now how can we resolve these two questions? We need to consider them one after the other. We need to consider them one after the other. Now to do this, okay, let us see what is needful. Okay, now we have the first one, root 2, all over root 3, minus root 2. You see now at the denominator, uh, for this fraction, at the denominator we have two sorts. And in the negative side in between the solves. Okay? And this one is quite different from a situation where we have a single solve at the denominator. For example, like in the form like this. Okay? This one has obtained a single solve at the denominator. Now, what do you do? We have to just rationalize using the denominator to uh, solve, uh, to resolve the fraction. Okay, now to do this, we have to consider it this way. That is to say, root 2 all over root 3. Okay, using the solve now, the solve is root 3. Use to rationalize the fraction, we call root 3 all over root 3. Now, multiply the, the numerator, we have 6 root 6. Multiply this one, we call a rational number, or a perfect square. The root of 9 is 3. The we have root 6 all over 3. This one, we call the final solution. If, assuming, we have a single solve. But for this one we have here, this very question, we have two sorts at the denominator. We have two sorts at the denominator. Now for this very uh, case, or for this very uh, form, what do we do? We have to take the conjugates of the two sorts. Okay? Since we have the two sorts appearing at the denominator, we simply take a, the conjugate of these very sorts. Okay? The conjugate of the three minus root 2 is simply root 3 plus root 2. Take root of that, it's simply root 3 plus root 2. If it is negative, it becomes positive. If it is positive, it becomes negative. That is for the one of the conjugates. Okay? Now for this one, I see the conjugate of root 3 minus root 3 is root 3 plus 2, root 2. Therefore, we simply use this conjugate to rationalize this. Okay? It becomes root 2 all over root 3 minus root 2. Okay? Using the conjugate now is root 3 plus Root, root 3 plus root 2, okay, all over root 3, okay, plus root 2, okay, this is the conjugate. We simply use the conjugate of this one to rationalize the fraction, okay? Now, what can we now do now? What can we now do now? We need to now move further, okay, we want to resolve further. Now, to do this one, we need to multiply the numerators and also multiply the denominators. Now, for this one, we have root 2, okay, now multiplying the other one, we have root 3. Okay, plus root 2. Okay, that's what we have there. Now, the other one there, this one is difference of 2 square. This one is difference of 2 square. Now, we have to expand it. We have to expand it. It simply means uh, 3 minus root 2. Okay, and also root 3 plus root 2. That is what it means. Okay, this is what we are talking about here. Okay, now. How do we solve this very one? How do we solve this very one? Let me now tell you how to solve this. It becomes what? Root 3, root 3 minus root 2, okay, and also root 3 plus root 2. Now, what do we do here? We use this one for 3 times root 3 is root 9, okay? This one times root 3 times root uh, 2 is going to be uh, minus root 6, okay? Why this one also is also times, this one times, this one also be plus root 6. Okay, now y minus times plus is minus, root 2 times root 2, we are going to have root 4. Okay, now we see what we have there now. We can see what we have there. Okay, for this one, okay, yes, we are very correct. Yes, we are very correct. The same thing applies to the very correct. You mean that this is root 6 and two root 6. Therefore, we are going to have root, that point there, we are going to have root 9, okay, minus root 4. Okay, that's what we are saying there. Mean root 9 is a perfect square. Root 4 is also a perfect square. Therefore, what can we do there? What can we do at this point? Where root 9 is going to be 3, root 4 is going to be 2. Okay, it becomes 3 minus 2. Okay, at this very point here. Okay, I can as well still put it this way. I can still put it this way. It becomes root 3. I can still put it this way. Root 3. Okay, square. Okay, minus root 2. Okay, square. I can as well put it this way. If I don't have to follow this pattern, this very process. Okay, so that this square can kill the root, 
this square here are also key inputs. Now I will have my final result as okay. This one I need to open this bracket. The one up. I need to open it up. Okay. I will now say with two times um, three because we six. With two times root two, I will to have with four. Okay. All over. Now don't forget we already cancel at the square here has already cancelled the root become three. Okay, the square has also it has also cancelled the root become two. Okay, at that point we are going to have root six. Root six is a solve. This one is a perfect square, of course, a rational number become two. Okay, we are going to have two there. Mean that root four is going to be two. All over three minus two is going to be one. Therefore, my final result will be what root six. Root six plus two. That is going to be my final result. Okay, it will be what? Root six plus two. That is going to be the final result. Now let me ask that the last one. Of course, we have uh, eight all over thirty-two. Remember that this root is for both of them. They are sharing roots. We got root eight all over thirty-two. We don't forget that. Now I have to reduce this very one to become uh, four times two. Okay, I will I will I will also reduce this very one here. I will also reduce this very one here. I can see uh, 16 times uh, 16 times 2. Yes, of course. Okay, now this very one simply means that before root 2. That is what it means. Both of them are sharing the root to say before. Let me put it here. Simply means root 4. Root 4 times root 2. That is what we mean there. This one means root 16 times root 2. Okay, root of 4 is a rational number. Well, root of 16 is also a rational number. Therefore, here we are going to have 2. Root of 4 is 2. Okay, times root 2 is going to be 2 root 2. Okay, now what for the 1 at the denominator? Root 16 is also a rational number. Therefore, it's going to be 4 uh, root 2. Okay, now 2 can kill root 2. Therefore, I'm going to have 2 over 4. And we can still reduce 2 over 4. 2 here, 1. 2 here is going to be 1 over 2. Therefore, that one become my final solution at this very point. Thank you for joining me once again on the platform. Please don't forget to join me online mathematics still remain the platform. Join me up, like my page, okay, and also go to my YouTube channel, subscribe to it. And that is simply mathematics science mega tutorial. All the best. All the best, all the best. Stay blessed, stay blessed, stay blessed, stay blessed.